our manager just kept asking us to be funny. Um, welcome to Late Nights with Badtastic. Episode 3. No, this is episode 2, actually, because we did B-sides. Oh. So this is episode 2. Uh, call it a new record. Speaking of new records. <laughs> um, yeah, so RFK Jr. Uh, met up with the Hawk Tua girl. At... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, a, that is that's, plenty that, on the that, record. That's hot news. <laughs> that's hot news. He was, he was literally just telling me that like a couple minutes right before we uh, started filming. And at first I thought he was saying it was uh, at Nickelodeon, like the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. And he was like, why would the Hawk Tua girl be at that? Um, you know, we, we've had uh, plenty of pedophiles outed this year. Yeah, Might yeah, have to censor that. I, I don't even know uh, if that's an actual allowed word or not. Uh, a lot yeah, of PDF we, we, files. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, PDF files. That's a good. That's a good uh, safe word to use. Yeah. Uh, yeah was uh, just, uh, first off, we got Chris Tyson. Uh oh. I don't know why she I, did that. I was actually kind of surprised. I was like, wow. Yeah, no, I wasn't seeing that one coming. Uh, I was like, all right. <clears throat> like a, tra- you just set trans rights back ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, trying like, finally uh, breaking away from the stereotype just for it to get uh, completely messed up within a you know yeah but um, a month Mr Beast fired her and uh, that's the end of that well like uh, on her but Twitter I'm... she was saying like how she left and then Mr Beast was saying yeah, that he, he kicked her out her, yeah. and it was like I don't know I don't know something's going on up there obviously I, Stuff I saw I don't know about I saw another clip on uh, on Twitter where it was talking about like Mr Beast isn't in the clear either. And it, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff on Beast right now. I, I don't know too much about it. I, I haven't looked into it f- too far. But I mean, people were saying that like there was a podcast that he was on a long yeah, time ago. Where but he, apparently he, he was saying he wanted to fuck uh, Bad, Bad baby. baby when she was 14. Yeah, but and apparently he was like 18 at the time. The entire idea was that it was supposed to be like something to get people pissed off, and it was taken out of context. But yeah. it also like I heard the voice clip, and it was like it sounds bad. Yeah. Dude. Which like if it is genuinely like that's part of the bit. There's also maybe. like several clips of him saying the N word. There's yeah. a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, that, I mean, you go Ooh. back and, like, I bet every single fucking YouTuber or, like, something has something from, point, like, yeah. 14 years ago. Because, like, it, people just didn't care at that point, you know? Yeah, I mean, everyone's talking about, like, the Shad Man. I mean, have you, have you seen the Shad Man yeah. show? Yeah. It's like, he's, like, the Epstein of YouTube. Dude, I, I was, uh, really I was watching uh, Moist Critical's video on the Ava Chris thing, mm-hmm. and he was saying that Shad Man, the fucking the loser dude, drew... I don't even want to say it, man. I know, like, I know what you're yeah, going to say. It because, yeah. For, he, for he, context, I guess we should he, say it. He drew it, some crazy stuff. Of Keemstar's daughter. That's highly illegal. You you know where that goes. I, I think and people were just I like, well, it's Keemstar's removed cares. from the internet, obviously. Well, uh, hopefully. Of, I, yeah. That, I mean, that's but, definitely uh, still illegal. It's very illegal. <laughs> like, that is definitely <laughs> felony level. Yeah. Uh, you should probably be killed in prison. That yeah. maybe is a little too much to also say on YouTube. But... Um, yeah, you know, we Eric, rock. Hey, that's uh, Eric's uh, hot take of the day. <laughs> I don't even that's know if that's a segment. hot take, though. Yeah, <laughs> Eric's hot take. Eric's hot take. It's got, like, a little hot ones thing. I have a, I have a, cl- there's a clip of, uh, in the first podcast episode where you're like, Elden Ring kind of fucking sucks. The, <laughs> you're talking about the, deal, how the DLC's not good. I think it's okay. But, but anyway, uh, we're not going to go back yeah. onto that, Tro. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> I know you also haven't played as much of yeah. it. But, um, oh yeah, Boogie2988. Um, yeah, so fill me in. <laughs> so what do you know? What do oh. you know so far? Didn't he fake cancer? So he had the doctor was like, "You could have cancer," and then he never found out. But he just he ran with, "I have cancer." Yeah. So he pretty that, much faked cancer. Yeah. That is a weird situation, but you also can't say it's a confirmed thing. Yeah. So he has to, he had to go get he's going to get tested or something. I guess Keemstar is making him do it. <laughs> and uh <laughs> starts making him get tested. Hold on, dude. You need <laughs> and to that's see such a you funny need concept. to see this. So um in order um I guess they have like a podcast called the Lol Cow Podcast or something. And uh Keemstar <laughs> fired him from the podcast. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so obviously he wants to come back because he wants to make money. Yeah. And uh this is what he got tattooed in his face. <laughs> I'll, I'll put this it in. Says, I'll put this in post. Oh my god! I'm literally. This is real. I'm beat red from laughing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he says nothing will ever make up for the bullshit I pulled, but I hope this makes some of you feel a little better. I think he, he gets off to this, dude. I think 
I, I think he's definitely like a. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, he's always like been a, like attention seeking. Yeah, he, he I like think literally he's humiliation anything. fetish or something. Yeah, because he like every single thing he does is just to get him back in the limelight yeah. for a second. Dude, every time yeah. I hear the word limelight or say it, I always just think of that one uh <laughs> that one smoke per freestyle where he was doing it over the moonlight beat. He's like <laughs> the limelight the fucking boner. boner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Oh. You should watch the Smoke Perp Freestyles if you have, and they're so bad, they're really funny. If you're having funny. a bad day, watch that. <laughs> yeah. just so you just, know, like, there's just someone so you, worse than you. Yeah, I was going to say, it can never <laughs> get that bad. I was seeing today that, um, you know, like Battle Block Theater and Castle Crashers, they're doing a quality of life update, and they're updating the art of Castle Crashers. Oh, you interesting. You see that? Is it, like a, is it like a cool, is it like trying to stay in the same style or revamp everything? Um, Dude, it looks pretty good. Yeah, no, it actually does look good. He kept it pretty in the original style, yeah. so. It's just oh, and quality. it's cool that you can yeah. uh, you can keep the classic as well. Yeah, it, you, you can toggle it on and off if you don't like it. Yeah, but that's like, I always see that. Uh, they, they also added a thing where you can make your own helmet. Oh, that's a <laughs> lot of fun. Yeah. I don't know. I I think that's a uh, cool when like uh, I'll see like game design stuff online because like uh, that's what, like a uh, part of the thing I'm trying to get into. Um, but gamer. uh, for like graphic design stuff, especially like uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be doing for school is you got to, like, try and see, like, what's got the most, like, visual clarity. So it's kind of, like, cool to see, like, or, like, it's easy to improve when you see other people making it more clear. Yeah. I don't know. I need to get better at art. I can do the other stuff. So is he have to look at, like, Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any, uh... Jay actually and, and, did a game dev class at MSU. In, like, film, in, like, film school, there's, like, a, there's, like, a big four you have to study. There's, it's Fortnite? Like, no, it's like, it's, like, Blue Velvet, um... I think it's, um... The Great Train Robbery. There, there's, it's you know just a bunch of a, a bunch of movies that <laughs> the everyone Great knows. Pumpkin. <laughs> is there is there like that for game devs? Do you have to like do, are they like play Fortnite to understand to understand clarity? I don't I don't like, do I don't know. I mean I don't that? I don't actually take game dev classes. I just like I've only done like actual like programming oh, okay. classes. Um, play Super Mario Bros. in the DS. There's probably a lot of stuff that, but I mean, there's also like so many different genres within games. Like, because, like, movies, even though there's different genres, you know, it's all still, like, same, like, it's, like, I feel like more similar setup of, like, what you do for it. Right. Whereas, like, when you're switching the medium to games, you already have, like, 2D versus 3D versus, like, completely different play styles and, like, I don't know. I feel like there's more variance within it. Yeah. I don't know. It's still a pretty young medium as well, which is a, I yeah, always, like, see that kind of right come up. Yeah. Like, a, I mean, it's only been around for, what, like, 40 years-ish, give or take some. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, chat. Oh, oh yeah, Evo happened. Oh yeah, there was a that, and then uh, we'll do that first. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess we could talk about um the very emotional Street Fighter. Did you Did you watch <laughs> the Street Fighter finale? No, I didn't. Um. Did you watch the Guilty Gear one? I think we watched it together, didn't we? I showed you uh, one, you of the, one of the. That was a losers. Uh, one of the losers, oh, that was losers semifinals. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was losers bracket. It was just a really good set. That's oh, the one okay. I showed you. Is that Leffen and? Uh, I don't know. Either way, absolutely insane comeback last second. I think. Oh my god, he's in the finals as well because he beat Leffen. Because it, it was Nitro and the. Uh, we'll go on. Uh, yeah. But the Street Fighter final, how to go? Nitro was good too. No, um, dude, Nitro is the goat. I, I caught, like, the very tail end of it, but there was a dude, Punk to God, who was uh, absolutely insane. <laughs> we got a little, uh, we got a little critter. Visitor. But, yeah, uh, basically, this Punk to God guy won, and uh, it, it, it was just, like, a very emotional, like, him, like, being like, I can't believe I won, and it was just like, oh, my God, I was feeling it. Dude, like, like a, I, I'd only watched him for, like, an hour, and I was like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, you kind of get it's attached like, to the characters like that. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they play someone that you play. Because, yeah. like, Nitro uh, won with Jacko, and that was, like, that's the first time Jacko's won Evo, and he was yeah. just like, why fought back? Why fought back? <laughs> Bro, Sexy Red was there watching Tekken. Did, yeah. you, did you see that? <laughs> no, I didn't Se see that. Sexy Red was at Evo. <laughs> <laughs> and she was tweeting live, like, maybe I'll, I'll start playing Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That's I was actually like, I was awesome. Like, That's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna pull up in the uh, the Tekken uh, Tekken Nike collab. I wish the they weren't air foams or whatever the, the, the air foam posits. posits. Foam posits, yeah. Those are a little bit ugly, but it's okay because it's Tekken. Yeah. They bring back Hayachi. Everyone knows that, but you know, 
<laughs> we knew it was going to happen at some point. You're good, Daniel. Go ahead. Hayachi. <laughs> I'm, I'm hyped for Hayachi to come back. <laughs> like, <Tekken 8. laughs> we need to run I have like eight hours in it, I think. And yeah, then I'm I, was a, like, I think I only have like a little bit more than that right now. Yeah. I uh, it's, it's, It is a cool game, though. I do really like it. Oh, yeah. I, I think some of the system mechanics I'm not huge on, but obviously I don't have yeah. enough hours in to, to actually these, fully yeah. say. Yeah, I don't know. It, some, of the, some of the guard break stuff is a little much. Yeah, I agree. Um, there was one like uh, I was playing a good amount of the demo, and Jen has the one like mid guard crush, and it's like, man, mid shouldn't guard crush. That's stupid. Make it a lower and overhead at yeah. least. I think. Uh, did you see that three v threes? I think uh, for Guilty Gear has a uh, beta open. Yeah. We got to try the beta. I was telling Joey I want to do triple Faust. Triple Faust. <laughs> Disgusting, dude. Mention the RNG. Dude, yeah. <laughs> we can do it where you got like the super. We throw yeah. five items. We all go th- throw. Uh, we could. Oh my god, we could throw 30 items. We should see if, if we have like, full bar. You we, should, should, we should see if there's 3v3 comps in Michigan. <laughs> Dude, that would be a ton of fun. That would be so funny. We gotta, we'd have to build a like team comp and everything. Fantastic versus... Speaking of fighting games and stuff that people might actually know about, maybe. Uh, that someone did the fucking Chun-Li parry again at Oh Evo. yeah, another Evo. Uh, I think they're calling it like 38 or something now. 38? Yeah. It's a, are the moments only for Street Fighter or is it for everything? I can't remember. I think it's for everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't, I should look up all the Evo moment compilations. I bet like half of them are Melee. They're crazy. Well, they removed Melee, right? Yeah. Yeah, Nintendo I don't know. forced them. Nintendo might be the lamest company ever. Uh, yeah, Nintendo might make some of the best games of all time, but everything they else they the do, worst business they need ever. to do better. Yeah. Nintendo, I'm, we're looking at you. Nintendo. <laughs> what Nintendo do when Nintendo would... I don't, who cares? Daigo, the dude who did the original uh, Ken Chun-Li Perry, he was mm-hmm. playing Street Fighter Six, and he was like, this game makes me feel young again. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I think... Dude's like 50. <laughs> yeah, that one's still going. You're good. Yeah. Um, I think that's like one of my main appeals for fighting games is not only do I just like love playing and everything, but like when you actually meet a lot of the people in, re- uh, in real life, like even when you're like pissed online because someone just, you know, did the corniest shit you've ever seen in your life, like people in real life, you know, they're some of like the coolest people I've met. Yeah. Like in terms of like gaming commu- community stuff, That's like a, Ethan. I mean, he throws a controller at the TV if you. You loses. don't. You do not want to see Mister Romic mad, especially when you're playing Mortal Kombat. Yeah, no. I they started calling me Scorpion, and I I'll never forget that day. Um. Anyways, or we uh, there was the one time where we all were like, "Guys, want to play some fighting games?" And then we ended up staying to like up to like six a.m. Yeah. Because we were just well, playing like we Guilty playing Gear and then uh, I got to try uh, that uh, JoJo game. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. All-Star bra- Battle. I've never even watched JoJo, but I need to. There's a there's a lot of stuff I want to watch and play right now. Oh, that's what I was going to say. is uh, In terms of playing stuff, I finally started playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Crazy too. so far. It's a, um, it, it is a really good setup. Dude, we should do a run-through together where it's just like two monks and we just keep slabbing the fuck out of everyone. Just literally like whapping them. Monk non uh, non combat playthrough. Non-combat. Is that possible? Can you do a non combat playthrough? Probably not with a monk. You could maybe do it as like an illusionist wizard. That would be kind of fun to try though, because I remember doing that in uh, Skyrim, where like after the I got through the part where you had to use combat, I instantly uh, did only illusionist, not to make people just like fight each other or like uh like persuade merchants and stuff. Like I don't know, I tried doing that. That was kind of fun. I'm doing a druid right now, so I just keep turning into a bear and fucking people up. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of broken. Yeah, I thought you were going to say you were fucking people. Well, that was like the funniest thing when the game was coming out. Everyone was like, you can fuck, you can fuck as bears. a bear. <laughs> as a bear, you can fuck them. Yeah, that one. I'm so going to fuck Shadowheart awesome. as a bear. It's going to be crazy, dude. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I don't have it either right now. With Like, it's not uh, right here, but I have it over there. I just got the fucking Terrarian from uh, from uh, the yo-yo from Terraria in get, real get, life. Get a clip of Eric uh, hitting a trick shot with it right here. That's pretty cool, Eric. We're going to have to record something. <laughs> um, better be cool. <laughs> it better be, now, now that it better be good, man. Well, uh, for audio listeners, it's a yo-yo, for those that don't know. It's a, uh, do a, you do a little swing-a-ding, and well, you start wrapping it around your fingers. It's not just a yo-yo, actually. <laughs> it, yeah, it's not just, it it's is the just legendary yo-yo. Terrarian. Yeah. 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 Serious stuff. That doesn't mean anything to uh, anyone who is like a... Like a blue collar job. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean anything to anyone? Does this Who mean cares? anything to anyone? Let's get existential. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get existential, man. What is this? What is so, this? Like, what's what on your doing? mind, man? I don't know. Like, what's on your mind, what man? What are we doing, man? No, man. 
Did you even know that fridge? That's a creeper fridge. I. We do we have any Dr Pepper in there? Go find out. I think I think there's one or two in there. You want one? No, I gotta I gotta look for. I gotta finish. There's so many sponsors that would genuinely be fun to do, other than Red Bull. <laughs> Dude, their their channel is unironically so entertaining. Yeah. Like sometimes they'll just like pull up on like a reel or like a shorts or some shit. And it's just like someone like literally like almost dying, oh, but they just crazy. did the coolest thing I've ever seen in my oh, life. Jeez. <laughs> like jumping out of a chopper. Man. I don't know. This year is the most Red Bulls I've ever drank. I usually like never drink energy drinks, but uh me and Joey just yesterday uh, we just walked another marathon, and that Red Bull saved us. Yeah, no, we got, like, one of the big ones. I had, like, you 150 tall boy. milligrams. <laughs> yeah, tall boy Red Bull, Red Bull tall boy. Little tall boy action. Little tall boy. The, yeah, dude, we were at the, uh, we just, like, stopped at the liquor store to grab it, and we uh, we look in the corner, and there's the beer section, and I just go, Joey, look at this. There's a Modelo, and we're talking, like, like fucking, it was, like, 32 ounces or something. It was just, like, this Big jug, man. Yeah, no. You're I, talking a 40 of Modelo? It was awesome. All right, let's go back. Let's, go, let's <laughs> get ourselves some 40s. Man, give me one, and then we go drive for another, you know? Yeah. Uh, shout out, Edward. I told um, I got a funny story. So yesterday I came over here to, like, help set up, like, all this. Yep. And uh, I, I got two funny stories. So so first I was, I was telling Ed that, like, I wasn't able to go. I'm not able to go to the camping trip. Messed up. He looked so sad. He you just like, broke he was, his heart, dude. He was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh my god, dude. I don't know if I can come back here. <laughs> I don't know if I can come and back then, here. Um, you just ruined that man's life. Mel, Mel came down here for a second, and uh, we, me, me and Joe were just doing something, and then like I basically I had like a, a two second fart fart attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was going upstairs, and all we hear from the distance, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Dude, the amount of things that she's heard that I'm just like, you know, I wonder what's processing right now. <laughs> thank thank God they're chill. I mean, yeah, I'm so glad they're not homophobic. <laughs> Dude, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, genuinely, we got one uh, too many situations where they where they were probably questioning. <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> that's a crazy thing. Um. Anyways, fantastic lore. You know, that. go check out videos from six years ago to find out. Um. How did she know we were in the tub? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's how the cookie crumbles. If you give a, if you give a moose a muffin, if you give a, <laughs> we used to do those marathon podcasts at the apartment sometimes, where we just drop like a two-hour lore video. It's a lot easier though, because it was just like all right, put the microphone down and we get yeah. some drinks going. Yeah, I mean, especially like a, I think something about having this setup where you have like the three cameras and everything. Yeah, it, it definitely, uh, you're not like just like, like even though we are just like talking. Yeah. There's definitely, like, you're not We're just, like, We're also, like, self-aware. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're, when you're more aware, it's a little harder for it to just keep flowing, whereas, like, when cameras are off, you know, you're, like, not even thinking. Yeah. But that also makes it sound that, like, <laughs> it makes it sound like we say, like, really shitty things off camera. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like we get, like, really devious. <laughs> it's not even that. We're just idiots. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, like, because you gotta, like, think, like, there's been so many moments where we're off camera where it's just, like, Man, we're so much more entertaining right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then where it's just like, I wish that was filmed. I know. It's, it's, it's you, got, you just got to start getting ready. You just got to start, like, feeling the moment of being like. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, when we were doing uh, TikToks daily uh, at the apartment and before that, when we were di- had, like, the three-year yeah. span of just, like, grind season, we definitely, uh, we were definitely a lot more just, like, in the moment, like, doing yeah. random stuff. We were also way more involved in TikTok. Yeah. At the time. I feel like I'm. Even though we do TikToks now, we I still feel disconnected from it. Which honestly, the way we were doing TikTok, I don't fully miss. But there definitely was a like consistency and like there was still like something to be proud of, I guess, with yeah. how we were doing it. Yeah, we're still, yeah, we still got two hundred something followers at the end of the day, you know. Yeah, no, like I, it's obviously still like pretty epic. I was gonna say awesome and epic, and then just started. Uh, <laughs> 
Essig. 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 What? What do you mean? Kurt Cobain came back from the dead. Did you hear about this? <laughs> Did he uh, fake his death? Go to Cuba. That's the only option. <laughs> You might know what I'm talking about, Joe. There's this fucking dude on TikTok. Who's Is that like, just like a rip-off dude? He's deep-faking Kurt Cobain's face onto himself, and he's like, Hello, I am... <laughs> and he's like... It's me. I'm back. I don't know where he's from. He's, he's like a foreign dude. He's like, Hello, I'm Kurt Cobain. It's I got an iPhone in heaven. <laughs> 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 I've got an iPhone. Is it like Chinese Elon Musk? <laughs> no. <it's this. laughs> Yeah. What's it? What's Hello, he go by? I am Eber- <laughs> Chinese Elon Musk. <laughs> you know, is that it? Yeah. No, I love that guy. He's you, awesome. It's uh, not Elon Musk, but the Chinese guy. We don't support Elon. Yeah, we like uh, the Chinese I don't. Guy. Maybe the others do. I don't know. Dude, how do we have a... Well, Biden just dropped it, but, you know, two pedos, one race. We got a new pedo every week, man. We got Dr. Disrespect. We got Ava Chris Tyson. We got Drake. We got Joe Biden. We got Trump. We got... um. What what, are, what are, uh, was Who's it Cody Co? Yeah, Cody Co. Yeah, uh, people aren't even, aren't even talking about Cody Co. Doctor disrespect. Well, that's what's happening. It's like uh, that's the problem is there's so many bad things coming out so frequently yeah. that I feel like, we're like nothing's actually talked about to the severity that's actually happening. Because yeah. like we're literally talking about children being exploited. Exactly. And like people are yeah. forgetting about the situations. People are still planning on voting for these people when, like, I don't even want to get into it, but you know mm. what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, oh, Denzel dropped an album. Was there any cool features? I haven't listened to it yet. Um, it's very Memphis inspired. Mm-hmm. Is he just got like a bunch of different uh, like Florida rappers on there? Um, Juicy J, uh, Juicy J, ASAP Rocky, Ski Mask. Ooh, is that uh, was that? Did oh, dude, I thought it was. Uh, it said Skinny Pimp on his phone, but I thought it said Skinny Pump. Instead of the Lil Pump, I thought he upgraded to Skinny Pump. He's skinny Pump now. Because uh, Lil Pump's a Florida guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, if, uh, uh, Lil Pump and Smoke Burp were both Florida kids. Uh, Ferg and Tia Corinne. This looks like a... I mean, it's I've a, got was, high hopes for uh, Denzel right now. The two singles he dropped, that one with uh, that Tia girl. Me- Mexican OT, yeah, Tia Corinne. Yeah, 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 dude. She. Uh, I need she's to check good. out her uh, solo music. She's pretty good. I was just telling I like that. her voice. Yeah, no, it's got a fun like uh, like bounce to it. I was just talking to Joey about it, but, like, I hate when um you find, like, a single song by someone, and it's like, dude, this is bangs. Yeah. And you go check out their discography, and it's sometimes, like, the worst thing you've ever heard in your life. Like, that's happened to me so many times. <laughs> oh, bless you, I guess. Oh, bless you. Bless, bless, bless you, buddy. Yeah, bless you. Yeah, you're getting greedy. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. No, keep going. No, no one cares. Bless you. Um, That happened to me with uh, Megan The Stallion and the, what, that one XXL cipher. That was, like, oh, yeah. the first time I had, like, actually, like, heard her, and she was, like, flowing crazy on the freestyle. And then, I, I don't know, I just think her actual music's pretty damn mid. I haven't listened to, like, any Megan in years since, I know like she, high school. She just dropped an album called Megan, I think. I haven't listened to it. I've just only heard that one, uh, JoJo. Megan. Megan? <laughs> God damn it. Bless you. Bless you. Um, but, yeah, no, Megan the Stallion, music's a little bit mid. A little bit mid. I can't even remember the other girl's name that I was thinking of. I was like, dude, this is so good. It was on a, she collabed with Blood Cultures. It was like just a one-off song, and I thought it was really cool, but no. So Millie? Even if I hear this name right now, I'm not going to remember. Mm. When you were, <laughs> I was going to say when you were sober, and then it was just like, this gag might just be too much. You were, uh, when you were sober. When, when you were sober. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, also, real quick, cut the, cut the cameras. You got a little thing in your teeth. Oh, I do? That, on uh, this side. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it's a, you know, I have a, Oh, I got it. There we go. Okay. I just recently beat Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh, yeah, yeah. That game is a banger. Uh, for context, let me just say that I've only beat Claire's story so far, and I'm only, like, halfway through Leon's. But, you know, I've so far just is basically the same game. Yeah. With just, like, a couple different key points. I've already seen Ada. Leon's probably just horny over her, like everyone. Um, But, yeah, dude, that game rocks, man. That is easily up there on the Resident Evil games. It is so fun. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little scarier at times. It didn't actually end up getting me as bad as I thought it was going to be just because, I, I don't know, I'd heard so much hype about being horrifying. It yeah. was definitely scary, though. I think uh, Mr. X, the idea of just shooting off his little hat and them him charging you was yeah. pretty fun. I love Mr. X. Is there any, like, is there any major differences uh, around, like, 
uh, Leon and Claire's campaign later on? Um, not really. Claire's campaign is easier, though. A little bit easier? Yeah. Overall, her campaign is considered easier. I thought that'd be weird just because, I mean, like, you get the shotgun versus the uh, grenade launcher, you know? Because, yeah. like, the shotgun is always just so OP in all the Resident Evil games. Yeah. It's always so good. It's so satisfying, though. Like, uh, if you ever get to try it on the PS5, uh, when I was playing uh, 4 Remake, you, with the shotgun, it gives you, like, the, uh, like, trigger thing where when you, like, pull, it doesn't, like, uh, let it go all the way. Like, you have to actually, like, force it. Yeah. It's got, like, a cool resistance thing, and then, like, gives you, like, the little feedback. I don't know. It's just, like, those, like, little, like, small things like that that really get you into the game. That's a lot to it. It does. Um, I don't know. When, like, controls are, like, different like that, it's a lot of fun. That's, like, part of the reason I want the PS5 VR, too. But I don't really want to drop, like, on sale, it's, like, 450 and it's just, like, I don't know, man. I don't know if That's I play it yeah. enough for that. It's practically another PlayStation 5. Dude, it is. I mean, the at retail, it's more expensive than PS5. It's crazy. It's, uh, I got to try out, a. Uh, my old manager uh, brought in his setup, though, with the, the VR system and the racing wheel, everything. And, uh, oh, my God. I was playing Gran Turismo in VR with that. It was very cool. But I started driving around the restaurant, <laughs> yeah, knocking dude, it, down tables. It was hilarious because we literally were just in the corner of the restaurant. And it was just like, oh, man. He had uh, checked out my table for me, and, like, they had, like, it packed up and everything. And I, I could barely talk to him anyways because they only yeah. spoke Spanish. So I was like, can you go talk to him? No, but yeah, I was literally just in the corner with Tito, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have, I don't use it much, but I've like slowly been on Twitter a little bit more, dude. I think, dude, it's it awful. might, it might be like <laughs> it's the, the worst, worst platform ever. Yeah, I think it genuinely has the most brain dead people, yeah. which is like kind of hard to pull off when you have stuff like Instagram. Yeah, like no, it's it's bad. But like, I I genuinely am like, like everyone are, so are they okay? My opinion, yeah. Oh, dude, it's insane. Like, uh, plus, like, did you see that the Fetch API system uh, just yeah. got leaked? Yeah, I saw that. that oh was my crazy. god! I let's. It gets a little bit into conspiracy politically and everything, so yeah, I, I don't, don't even want to get feel like getting down. into it. We don't want to get taken down. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Plus, I don't even like want to get into it on like, yeah. camera or anything, but some it was like, if this is actually uh, true, Elon needs to do some explaining, bro. It was disgusting. It, uh, ugh. Let's let's just say Fetch API like draws things like it's kind of what it's like boosted and like searched for like it's what like comes up through the algorithm and everything and it um, defends certain accounts. Yeah, he w- it was definitely um, targeted, extremely biased, and you understand where that goes. And cringe <laughs> and cringe. Um. Also, we're at about thirty three minutes. So. Oh yeah. I guess we should wrap it up, huh? Probably. All right. Uh, don't forget to wrap it up. Uh, if you got your cock out, put a sock out. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for joining us with Late Night with Badtastic. And uh, uh, like and Ma- subscribe. Or don't. I, maybe you shouldn't, actually. Probably not, to be honest. I don't mm-hmm. think it's worth it. No, leave a like. Leave a comment. Um, uh, let us know. Would you fuck a deer? Uh, leave, it, leave a comment <laughs> below if you would or not. Um, subscribe. Uh, hit that little bell notification. And we're on Spotify, so make sure you listen. Oh, we are on Spotify. I'm uh, probably going to put out some of my music on there as well. Um, yep. Yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, as always, sweet goodness. I need a wipe, dude. Oh, dude. I can smell it. I can really smell it, man. <laughs>